staying nice and dry. My fire pit is gonna go all day. It was like 95 degrees just two days ago and now you can see my breath. It's my favorite time of year. It's fall time. Let's go. Deer season is right around the corner. That is my favorite thing to do during the fall. It's deer hunt. I love deer hunting. Hey guys, this is Nathan Ma Ah! Oh, that smoke from the fire. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Hey guys, this is Nathan Mann, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. It's the first day of fall. We're camping all weekend. Got a little bit of rain today, but we're staying dry. We're staying dry, got the fire going. It's nice and warm underneath here. We're here next to the woods. Seen some deer already. So in this episode, I'm gonna go over some uh, camp recipe food ideas I'm gonna be doing today and this whole entire weekend. Here's some camp food ideas just for you guys. There are two things in my camp cooking arsenal. That's one of these. You can find these at almost every state park campground. If you can if you can learn how to cook on one of these, you can cook with anything. And then I have the Adventure Series Blackstone 17 inch. It's very portable. I can hook it directly into the camper over there or I refill the little green bottles for it. I cook a lot of food on the Blackstone have a grill at your campground you can pick up one of these and this just sets on the ground over your campfire and you can cook just the same now this right here is a lodge sportsman's grill you put your charcoal inside of there this is one of my favorite campground cook items if you like this content go ahead and hit like and subscribe i appreciate it pulled in a campground in my first pick somebody was setting up pop-up camper all right, so we went to our second choice. Nobody was there, good to go. This place had for 4.30, a check in and you pay the next day. You stopped in the camp host to check in and come to find out the people in the pop-up camper left this morning. They didn't even pay. They stayed the night. That's where I was gonna set up. So I'm just like, man, really guys? Come on, we gotta do better than this. It's people like that that's gonna end up getting these campgrounds shut down. They're underfunded as it is. So, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm not moving the camper again. But tonight, since it's chilly, it's raining, we're gonna have chili. We're gonna have some camp chili cooked in the Dutch oven over the fire. Usually these are adjustable. I'll drop this all the way down. I'll get anything that was previously cooked on there, off of there, heated up, sanitized. To my family members and friends, no, this is not my award-winning recipe, so you ain't getting that, so. <laughs> this is just a basic chili recipe that's really good for over the campfire. I use these, the nylon brushes. I don't use the metal anymore. They will uh, rust, break off. And you can go online and look up some videos of some horror stories of people having to have pieces of metal removed. Basically, just knock on the bottom too. But it's ready to grill all weekend long. Take two pounds of last year's venison burger. Grab some hooks for a barbecue grill. You can take your utensils you're using and hang them up out of the way. Now that the burgers and onions done, we're gonna add two cans of whole tomatoes. We're gonna have one can diced tomatoes. All the juice goes in those from those three cans. Two cans of black beans. One of them's drained, the other one is not. One can chili beans with the juice. My competition went in chili, I do not use a chili packet. But this is something that you can uh, buy at the store if you've never even done chili. Now we're gonna give all this a nice good stir down.
Me personally, I like really thick chili. So I put one, I start off with one can of tomato paste and let that cook down, let that break apart. And usually that'll be good. If not, you hit it with two cans. You hit it with that two can Sam. Ah. Dr. Thunder is way better than Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper tastes like chapstick nowadays. And there you have it, hot venison chili at the campground over open fire. Mm. Really good, it's cold out, it's rainy, venison chili. The rain ended overnight and we woke up to a chilly, foggy, beautiful morning. What a sight. I'm gonna get some olive oil on here. Oil is ready. This half we're gonna eat for breakfast. This half is going on burgers for lunch. The Swaggerty's Premium Sausage Patties. These things will credit you with swagger. Set that to the side. Lay some English muffins around the perimeter. Throw your eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper on there. Now I'm putting a few slices of cheese for who wants it on the tops and you just seen an egg explode. Awesome. So let those melt down. <laughs> this hits the spot i'm about to throw these burgers on i'm gonna throw my non-stick olive oil spray be careful it'll flare up on you let that heat up we're gonna slap some burgers and dogs on here this is bacon cheeseburger this one's mushroom swiss and this one is brisket burger fresh black pepper of course we're gonna hit it with the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. Lower it down so we can get the char on them. Now we're gonna take some leftover bacon from breakfast and we're gonna lay across there. The bacon is on. We're gonna put this cheese on here. This is Colby Jack. We got our hot dog still going. And we got sweet Hawaiian onion buns I'm gonna put place on here to toast them up for our burgers. All right. Got the toasted buns, got the cheese and bacon on there, got the hot dogs done. It's time to grub. Throw that on there. A little ketchup and mustard. There you go. It's dinner time, guys. Let's get some sweet corn on the cob. Let's get that rolling. Twice baked potato. It's cowboy steak time. My own sound effects, by the way. Oops, we're still good though. Mm. All right, this morning we're gonna start with the bacon. I'm gonna saute some onions. I cut up the leftover tomahawk steak from last night and rest of the half of the onion that I brought with me. Bacon's done. We're going to 
take it off the skillet here. We're gonna get that on some paper towels. Slide this and all that bacon and goodness. Mm. Our onions are about done. You crumble your bacon and mix it up with your steak and onions. It's time to eat. I take my steak and eggs and stir it up, mix it together, and enjoy a campfire. Cooking some New York strips with some rehydrated morel mushrooms on the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Delicious. Now for lunch on the last day, we're just having a leftover chili. Oh yeah. Beards and bows out.